Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the movie. To begin my ESX installation, I've inserted my ESX build CD into my server and rebooted it, and I've selected graphical mode, and it brings me to the ESX Server 3 installer splash screen. And I'm just going to click next to continue. Here we select what type of keyboard we have. I've got US English, so I'm going to click on next. And then we select what type of mouse we have. I'm going to click next. Now it's going to search for previous VMware ESX installations. If we have a previous installation, it will give us the upgrade option. And if we're upgrading from ESX Server 2.1 or later, we can use the upgrade option. Otherwise, click Install to install a fresh copy of ESX. And I'll click Next. This is the End User License Agreement. Read it and click Accept. Then click Next. This brings us to our partitioning options. If we'd like, we can select which disk we would like our ESX operating system to be installed on. And we can also use the recommended partitions if we'd like. This is the best option, I feel, because it gives you the option to modify the partitions later if you'd like. If you'd like to create all the partitions yourself, you can click Advanced and then click Next. I'm going to use Recommended, and I'll just click Next. This lets you know that all data will be deleted from this drive. Click Yes. And these are all your different partitions that are set up. If you'd like, you can modify them. For example, this partition just happens to be your data store. And we're going to talk about data stores later on. But if we'd like, we could highlight it, click Edit, and modify it accordingly. If we'd like, we can give it a fixed size and specify the size up here. I'm going to leave all the defaults and click Next. Here we specify how the ESX server will boot, and most of the time the default will be the correct option. If we'd like to, we can also boot from a partition. But I'm going to boot from this drive that's selected. I'll click Next. Here we specify our network interface card and give the IP address of our ESX server and the host name. If we have a specific network card that we want to use to connect to our ESX server, we would select it here. And I'm just going to type in the IP address that I'll use for my ESX server. Now I'm going to use 192.168.6.61 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And you want to input your correct gateway in DNS. Next, you want to specify the host name for your ESX server. I'm going to call my ESX server esx1.test.com. And down below, you can specify the VLAN ID. It says leave blank if you are unsure whether your network requires a VLAN ID. And down below here, you can create a default network for your virtual machines. And most likely, you'll want to leave this checked. And then I'll click Next. Here we select our time zone my time zone is correct so I'll click next now we'll specify the root password I'll just type it in and confirm and the root password is going to be the super user on your ESX server that can do anything and everything so you want to make sure the password is secure I'll click next This gives us a nice summary of our installation. Review it, and then go ahead and click Next when you're ready. And ESX Server will install. Okay, the installation completed successfully. Now we'll just want to remove our CD out of our server and click the finish button and your ESX server will go ahead and reboot. 